Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for keeping up with us still. Uh, as I told you at the beginning, that we're in the ghettos. We're exploring the life of ghetto people. Uh, I told you we are already in Waise. Waise is a place located in Kampala, Chimombasa. They are the outskirts of Kampala. That is why it's a few kilometers from the city center. Uh, where I'm seated, as you can see, the bed. Uh, it's a local, local, local made bed. This is the bed used for for having sex with these ladies and the prostitutes. So we're having a story about uh, the sexual vendors. In this edition, we are going to be looking at prostitution and sex vending. This is one of the common problems we are facing in Kampala. Kampala is located in Uganda as the main capital city. Sex vending is one of the most common things done in Kampala. We have so many sex workers in different areas of Kampala city, in the city center, we have in Kawempe, we have in Natete, and other main places. Even in the whole of Uganda, most of the towns, you always find there sex workers. Today we are going to be basically focusing in one area known as Waise, Kimombasa. Waise is a small area, a trading center, located in the outskirts of Kampala in Kawempe Division. Kimombasa is one of the villages around. This name was derived from the biggest, one of the biggest ports we're having in East Africa, known as Mombasa. Mombasa is in Kenya. According to the history of this area, they told me that in the past years, there could be so many ladies who used to do sex vending and prostitution from Mombasa. They could come from Mombasa and settle in this area known as Waise. Due to their numbers increasing daily, men around Waise and Kawempe division could go and also have some fun of having sex with these ladies. They could say, Tugenda Kao Mchimombasa, or we are going to visit Chimombasa, where these ladies used to stage after coming back from the main port of Mombasa. That is where this name came from, and we got to know the area called Kimombasa, which is located in Bwaise Kawempe Division. When I reached this area, I was welcomed by small houses, ghetto situations, poorly drained drainages, poor sanded area, and a dirty place. However, the place is densely populated. According to my statistics and what I researched out, most of the people in this area are very poor. However, they are doing their simple businesses ranging from bars, lodges, and some small businesses. Since we are new in this area, we had to first visit the leaders of this area. We found their chairman, known as Nuldin Sentam, who offered us one of his sons, called Chienji, to escort us in our journey due to the poor security which was in the area. We were also given a certain lady called Prosy, who works as the peer, peer educator of these sexual workers. We had to look into the books of the registered sexual workers and we are told that in this only village they are having over 700 sexual workers. However, they have 120 who are registered, legally registered as sexual workers in this village of Chimombasa. We started with having an overlook at those old buildings. Someone can say what that is. These ones are lodges 
where these girls spend their times. Look at those old houses. They told us that they pay money ranging from 2,000 shillings to 5,000 for someone to rent that small room which you can use as a lodge or as a point of trading sex. We finally had to set off our journey with one of the first sex workers we received. And this was by the names of Esther, who looked to be having 32 years of age, whom we found in a very small, tiny house, which was made of woods, or call them timbers. We started our simple discussion. I had to accept and sit on Esther's bed. I took time and greeted her. That's when I get to know that she's called Esther. In our discussion to make her comfortable, I had to feed in a lifestyle nature, as you can see. Can you get to the co? I started by asking her what she's doing in this place. Esther told me that these are lodges and rooms which are used by the girls to earn some money. I had to take more time to ask that which kind of money and which business are they doing from here. Uh, we started our conversation by making an assumption that whether I was a customer, how could she welcome me and how could I describe myself in asking for, uh, for sex since they are sexual vendors. Esther had to reply me that in that area of YC, you just come direct with the issue, just talk to a lady standing on the, on the roadside and you go for the business. Esther, you call it out. I'm going to call it out. I'm going to out. I'm going to call it 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 Ongamenti buno bwe bulire bwo. Eh. Ero suzayo abantu bwo. Wo mfuna yo nango muntu ampa ku sente. Ah. Ngo suzao. Eh. Kati kambuzemo. Eh. Tishi twala nze customer. Mwe manzi okugame bintu mantandi kantya. Oina chikuruma. Eh? E chikuruma. Eh nganjagala kabozi. Even to be one, or a jira or direct to gain the Nenaku was sent to West Nemutamula. Catch all immediate though, where no Munda or where? Wabwe, Bona Babere, Ganora Bangora, Jerry, Customer, Mores, and Nerona. Ogendor on Dablons. Esther had to explain me how they get these men. She told me that there's no permanent position where someone stands to receive a customer. They are always on the red side, loitering around, uh, looking for men. If you get a chance and receive one, you just move on into these poor lodges. I took time to ask her about the meaning of a shot. She explained to me that a shot is that moment uh, of having a short sex, that is a few minutes, like two to three, and it's paid some amount of money. We're not on the short, short chit. Sajanga Kubusi. Nga Kubusi. Uh huh, short it for a bangat. I see, don't worry, we are bang. Bang and Munanga by a galaka saint. Nga, 
cut a short year sent a maker. Aunt in the Massima would be more at the sent a maker. The man Jack of the town. Hey, sick at a good devil wound. Oh, Musaja, a joke or queer galaka was. What I need to get up Sigamba Gwe, eh. Nambo Sajat Castor Mao. At in Zimbabwe, Sabon Kumitan, uh huh, Pudida. No stematemotia. Cut in Zimban no Kua Asuramon Bitan. Lucy Bitan, eh. Oh, who nobody the way? One of the way. Eh, Eh, no Eh, Ori a jipangisa, nange ni mukozi. Eh, siwa. Oh, okay. Siwa wo. Eh, ori mukozi. Eh, mukufuna bunge ni. As we continue to have our discussion, that's when I get to know that, however much Esther is a prostitute too, but she is one of the managers of this small lodge. She explained to us that she's the one in control of people who always come into this lodge. Kati mbuza mwe chibuzo. Walu wabe wandisi zao. Okuwe da onti wako yalu wede la wuri yomaya gala. Walu ya wajana gamba. Kankuwe yomu. Kubanga wuri chitana chankumi sato. Kati wali ya ba. Asopulo kunza sula na kunga sato. Na wela nga yeba se. Hey. I had to take time and ask Esther where she came from. That's when I get to know that Esther comes from Gulu, one of the districts we are having in Uganda, and Gulu is located in the northern region of Uganda. Gulu is mostly known of the many, many civil wars which have been happening there, uh, done by the Lord's Resistance Army, the so-called LRA. She tells him that she's having three kids and she had to migrate from Gulu to Waise to start prostitution because of the bad situations she was facing in Gulu. Go a vow. A wafe. Gulu. Gulu. Kopango. Kope. Are you my bed? No, I have a Gulu. No, I have a Waise. No. Bera. Bera yensimbi. Hmm. Wina ya bana. Eh. Bameka. Basat. Um, amkulu wa biya kemeka. Kumine sat. Kumine sat. Eh. Basoma. Eh. Olozo na kufuna sende ngameka. Basat jabo. Bobo funa. Ganze. Chine ne nyogo mstu nwa mtoa. Did you say you were making money? Mumu tuwa. Phone number wala. Naye abasula mu tebatera. Hmm. Eh, osinga kusulo zako wala ba bila bazi. Okay. Interestingly, uh, she told me that uh, she really she really goes out for prostit for prostitution, but sometimes she also does that business because she needs an extra income of which she needs to dress up and eat. So when she gets an opportunity of a man, she also directly engages in prostitution. But most of the money she earns, she earns it from the girls who bring in men, pay her, each who comes in pays 500 shillings. Okay. Nenga bo funa yona wo suza. Wanga ba ni no kulia. Aha. Ni no kuambara. Ndite gira. Eh. Obulambu no bulunje.
I had to take time and ask her a joking question that in seven years, how many men she had slept with? She told me that she can't even count and remember because they have so many. There have been so many in the period of seven years. Seven years. Also, we don't be found. Be food, them. Eh, I think Nanga only am Pitanga, Nang and Sasura or Quavaca, Nanga Majango, Pole. Sorrows are sent. At your sorrows. Cambozet was a chief funny. Mia comes out for you, Mazam, nobody. Or was I ever seen ever such a make? The Siva Wala Siva man, Kubanga Vant. Bye, Rom Twalo. I had to ask and focus on the challenges they are facing in this business of sexual vending in why is a Kampala town, Kampala district, Kampala city. She told me that one of the biggest problems they are facing is being despised by men who come to buy them for sex. She told me that some men always come with very little money, around 2,000 shillings. Someone is coming with 2,000 shillings to ask for sex from her. 2,000 shillings in Ugandan money, if you turn it to dollar, it is around 0 0.5 dollars. That's like a half a dollar. So someone comes, someone comes in to ask for sex with only 2,000 shillings. Esther tells me that how much will she remain with? She had to laugh that that's one of the biggest problems they are facing. you know we discuss as we are laughing because you have to fit you know in the lines of these ladies I had to ask her how much money and what she has got from this business of sexual vending. Happily, she replied me that she has managed to take care of her mom who stays in Gulu. And at the same time, Esther has managed to construct some small three rental houses in Gulu district, which is very proud of. <laughs> Mama wange mrabi jite. Mwini mkwa kwe tunda? Zimbia ne mizike satu. Jiri ruda? Guru. Hey! Mwini mkwa ukola guno guli mwusinti? Wa senye wa. Kati mwuza? Covid ya tusula nyo. Atia? Sanja mwabu na. Tuwa ya vwala? Netu fumbi nwa, netu vivamu. Hmm. Okay, now I'm going to come and I'm going to Okay. It's one guy, Wow. Ah, uh, a brief story. Uh, you to a the way this, this lady loves money, she's even ready to lend off her bed because this bed you're seeing it was her bed that's where we stayed on she told me that she's ready to even to give it off to someone who would wish to have sex from it and she sleeps down 
Kati singe bisha ndabira bwe ndeye ni. Nanja gara ku chino, chino echiri wagulu. Nanga neba ka wali entebe yonjiteka ano nga neba. Ngo teka uno mu. Eh, nga percent. Bamsi iko la. <laughs> Avera tali na mukazi. Eh. Hey. Eh, hey, yata baba kazi ngoli nga biwe daily bajute kati ngo mukazi yagala lese msaje wala. Suka yanga njija. Duachi, no sake endala. Okay. Things are just amazing. I asked Esther whether she's having plans of leaving this ghetto and this kind of job of sexual vending to go for other important businesses. She seemed to be ready and she's having a plan of constructing a shop but amazingly she told me that she doesn't have that amount of money to start up a shop i don't know whether she was in her senses when she was answering me because after me asking how much money she needs she told me only 100,000 shillings ugandan money that is around 30 dollars us dollars only wow Kati, o oh, inama chilo zeti gama tu genda vako wano, o chuse chifo, mm. o genda wa. Na iti. Nina suvi, mkora mm. ku duka. O nina suvi yoku zime duka? Mm -mm. Mm. Sina funa senti. O nina senti meka? Nemi tu alo kumi zivera zima. Oya kala mi tu alo kumi yake mbele. Oka kasa esta. Eh. Che chizoko kwa Ate basa jokwe ba kake nyu. Ate sviaga la kuyeti. We had to set up and move to the next room and take a look at those rooms she has been telling me where these girls go and have sex. As I told you, we are in the ghettos of Waise, Chemombasa area. The word Chemombasa derives from the famous port of East Africa found in Kenya, the coastal line, called Mombasa port. Because of so many ladies who used to come from that area who came and settled in this Waise, that's where we got the name Mombasa because of the little area <laughs> I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed Okay, uh, what did you two say? Be mungu bitanda Oso kutunu zake no katono E bitanda, abana abu wadaba no mwibako zisa Ukubanga betu nda No ukubanga bako lele mili mjawe This is an exclusive story It was a very great experience for me That one you're seeing All those ones you're watching that is an old blanket and some of the beds where the girls or the non prostitutes take their men. The beds looked a bit dirty with very old mattresses and old blankets. On top of the beds, I had to come across a used condom, a packet of a used condom. As you can see me touching on it, wow. I had to touch on it to really experience. I had to ask them how about the security of the area since the rooms looked so weak with wood, wood, wooden bars. Esther told me that she works as the security of this small lodge 
since she's responsible for guarding the place. I asked her why these condoms are being left on the bed. Esther replied to me that they just have these are just habits of these girls after using these condoms. They just drop them down and they move away. Together kubanga to unveiling and okulaga embeda yoba yoba malaya prostitution in the ghettos. Bono muku pida over sumule over laganti because the sebaci. Eh, if you couldn't have them will be the one. Catin Zenzembera Unga Tawari and Kuma, uh huh, Zen no Kubera Unga Gascari Gascari Police Tabakwata. Ah, Catacanunga Bacasuku. Oh, rich Labicayas Yaka was a Caesar. By name, Pisa way to Yamna with Sulerica Tinze. Banning no Kulongo Sao. Okay. Eh. Nina Kabaki Takala Kinda, you know, Kalimu Pira Wonji knew. Katimu no Kolotia. Take a vial. Kanda Beko Katolo. Uh -huh. In just another extreme corner, my eyes had to look at a full bucket of new condoms. These condoms were pink in color, 